When you can't tell your friends from your enemies, it's time to go. You don't have to worry about me. Restrict Bond's movements. Put a stop on his passports. Find Bond. How long have I got? 30 seconds. That doesn't give us a lot of time. Quantum of Solace released in 2008. You know when you're at the rental store and you've got the idea of what you want to rent, then you get there and there's this deal on like four for the price of two. Well I have to think, then I have to think of some extra DVDs to rent. So this time, the extra one was James Bond film, Quantum of Solace. And you know what's really cool? When you get that extra movie and it ends up being awesome and better than the other movies you had in mind. Sadly, this is not the case. I personally thought Quantum of Solace was an extremely average movie. Daniel Craig wasn't given the chance to inject the emotional side of Bond that he was able to in Casino Royale. It was just one action scene after the other, but because there wasn't that emotional side to his character, I just didn't care. I know what you're going to say, he was on a revenge rampage because of the death of the girl in the first film. Yeah, true. Well, it doesn't mean you have the film has to be pointless revenge kill after pointless revenge kill. The villain is like every other Bond villain, of course, well, then again I wouldn't expect much different there. I think he was after water, though as I say, I'm not sure why and I don't really care. Gemma Arterton was a pointless, had a pointless role in the film, though actually, no, she is killed and covered in oil to create a nice throwback to the scene in Goldfinger, but that's about all her character does. However, Olga Kurienko, I might have said that wrong and I do apologise, was probably, for me, the best part of the movie. An interesting Bond girl, they gave her her own revenge story, which to be honest, I was more interested in than Bond's. All in all, just too much action with, well, nothing much else. I still have faith in Daniel Craig as Bond, just needed a better story and direction. While really he didn't, all he needed was more downtime and less jumping in planes and falling into caves. You know about us is that we have people everywhere. <laughs> 